All right guys, Yorkshire Dan here. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm not going out till next week, I think, down to Matlock, to Lumsdale Falls, so make sure you watch out for that video because that's gonna be really cool. But today we're gonna to go down, we're gonna have a gear rundown. I've got a lot of stuff, everything ranging from cameras, walking gear, bags, filters, everything. So let's go and have a look at that now. I'll show you what I've got. I have a lot of stuff, far more than what I thought I actually had. Like, this is quite a bit. So we'll take you down on the rundown. Gotta go through all of this. Let's do it. So let's get started. Start off with the walking boots first. Peterstone walking boots, they're a bit, uh, they're a bit weathered, man. I went out in Edale last week. If you watch that in the videos, I did a little vlog for that. They're a good quality boot. I need needed some more soon. Probably going to get some big house. But these have lasted me about six years, so... If you want some nice, cheap, decent shoes, walking shoes, I'd say Peter Storm. They're cool. They're not bad. Mucky as hell. Let's just put them there. Next. Walking bags. Tog 24. Absolute awesome make. It's really good quality stuff. You get plenty of pockets in here. It's got the supported back. Let me just get that for you. It's got the supported back here, all the mesh, so it's breathable. Plenty of holding places to put your water bottles, food, whatever you want in there. It's a good quality bag. It's not actually mine, it's my brother's. But he's, re he's recently getting a new one, so he's giving me this old one. So that'll do for now until I can get a better one. It's good though. I can't complain here. Let's put that there. Next. My new walking trousers. Look at them. Crag hoppers, brand new with the tags off eBay for twenty-three pounds. Awesome stuff. And the best bit is, they go into shorts. The fin material, really good quality walking gear. I can't wait to use these in the summer. These are really going to be absolutely fantastic to use. I'm really excited. I do. I do have another pair of crack hoppers, but they're in the wash at the minute. But they're a hell of a lot thicker. They're they're a black they're a black colour. They're red hot. Like they do the job too well. Same with my walking coat. My walking coat's in the wash too. But that's far too hot. I think that was an architect. It's good quality clothing, but my god, it works far better than what it should do. But yeah, they're my walking trousers. Obviously, tops don't really don't really matter. I do, I do like to wear a car heart though, the car hearts are cool. It's just clothing at the end of the day, it keeps you warm, it's good for you. Let's carry on. Next, the camera bag. I have a low pro bag. Look at the state of this. Like, that is terrible, it's dirty as hell. But, awesome bag. It's lasted me a long time, it's got plenty of compartments. Try and get in there. I don't know if you can even see in there. Nope, can't see in there. But yeah, that's a pocket. Should have thought of this really better when I, before I started. Get this open. Awesome, there we go. Plenty of spots to place all your, your lenses, your cameras. It's got a couple of memory cards. Cloth holding spots even comes with a, with a cloth, cloth cleaner, a cloth cleaner, a lens cleaner, sorry. Oh, I can't get back in, that back in there now. There we go. Really good. It's got another spot in there. That's what it got. It's also got in here the uh, the waterproof little jacket that you come with it. Awesome. Saved, saved me so much hassle on the, at the weekend when I went to Edale because it rained like hell that day and my bag was just getting absolutely drenched. But yeah, if you want a good quality bag, camera bag especially, low pro is your way to go. I don't know many better than that. It's absolutely fantastic. Let's move on to the next. We have now what every photographer needs. A good, sturdy, quality tripod. Manfrotto, they don't do many better than Manfrotto. All interchangeable ball heads, so you can have different ones. I'm not sure what tripod this is. 
But there's the code. I wasn't sure what it is, but yeah, this is fantastic. It's heavy. I wouldn't advise carrying it around all day. But if you're going to go on like a nice little photography trip and you're just nipping out to get a sunrise or a sunset, I'd highly suggest one of these. Absolutely fantastic. Good quality, good build. This will last years. I don't see myself replacing this for a long, long time. Awesome stuff. Really, really good. Next. What have we got next? Let's get the flash. Let's see what we've got in here. I can't remember which flash this is. There we go. It's a Canon 430 EX2. It's a good quality flash. I don't really use this as much as what I'd like to anymore. I do a lot of portrait stuff, but it's just different now. I'm doing a lot of landscape stuff at the minute. But still, can't go anywhere without a flash. It's awesome. Good quality, good build Canon. I have got a Yongnuo. That's a lot cheaper build, but it does the exact same job as what I want. But yeah, 430X2, really good quality. Even comes with the, like, the snazzy little uh, snazzy little bag that you get with it. Really good. Next, landscape photographers. Filters. Filters. I've got a good couple of cockings there. A couple of other cheaper brands, but they still do the thing. All polarizers, NDs, different grads. If you don't have these that, and you're a landscape photographer, then what are you doing? Sort it out. Those white skies are not fooling any ph professional photographer. Learn how to use these. Learn. Thank you. Please learn. I'm begging you all. Oh, it's falling everywhere. Let's move them out of the way real quick. Obviously, if you can have filters, you need an attachment to the, go onto the end of your lens to be able to use it. Unless you've got one of those, uh, what they're called, the threaded circle ones that can just go onto the end of your lens, but I prefer using these, it's easier. Next. Ooh, we'll go back a little different thing. I've got my old Nikon camera. My father gave me this. He's had it since he was about 20 years old, I think. And he's now, what, 54, so it's quite a lot of years old. Still works perfectly. The lighting meter in it doesn't work, but any photographer can sort that out and they can they don't need the lighting meter to figure out what ISO and everything that they need. Awesome little film camera. I take that a lot where a lot with me. I never end up getting my film done though. I really need to get the film in this done at the minute because I think I've got some cool pictures on there, but I could be wrong. But maybe that's for another time. I'll show you some pictures from next time. Next. I have some cool vintage lenses. I got this recently, a Soligo. I think it was a 35 millimeter lens. Really good quality off eBay. I think it was 15 pounds. Good quality lens, works perfectly. I will tell you one thing though. If you want to use them on your camera, you need an adapter. And you need to find out what vintage lenses are. These are M42s. So boom, get one of these, your vintage lens is sorted. Carrying on with the vintage lenses, look at that, a Carl Zeiss lens, I've wanted one of these for a long time, 50mm, I've not actually used it yet myself but there's always time to use that, I might take it with me next week, this week, this week somewhere, test it out. Now, onto the big guns, the Nifty 50, 1.4. I don't even 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 need to say anything more than that. Pick them up in England for like seventy pound, I think, or US US dollars. I think that's about a hundred hundred dollars, hundred ten dollars. Take that everywhere with me. I've used that so many times. Incredible lens for the money that you for, money that you pay for it. Brilliant. One that my dad gave me. Don't really use it at all. The seventy to three hundred. It's an awful lens. I'm not gonna lie. The autofocus has stopped working on it. I don't even know why I still have it to be honest, but. It's there anyway, just for show. Good lens. Well, was a good lens anyway. Now my baby. My 17 to 55 millimeter. Absolute fantastic lens. I've took some I've took a lot of my pictures with this, especially portrait wise. Like, well, I have about 50 mil, but this it does what you want. It's perfect. Awesome lens. I'd recommend that to anybody. It's absolutely brilliant. Next. I would show you, but I'm using it at the minute. It's my 10 to 22 millimeter lens. 
4.5. It's brilliant. Absolutely thumbs up. Look at it, it's filming now. It's perfect. But yeah, let's carry on. Canon 60D. I've had a couple of other Canons, 400 and a 500D, I think. This is my favourite so far, the 60D. It's an absolute workhorse. This is actually my father's because currently I'm actually filming on mine. But I do have the exact same camera as this. There's no difference whatsoever. I can't praise this anymore. I've had this a long time. Good build. The other problem I've got with it is audio quality. Because right now I probably am, well, probably am. I am recording on my iPhone. So that does say a lot. But yeah, fantastic lens. Can't go wrong with that really. Lens? I mean camera, not lens. But yeah, let's carry on. Shoulder straps. I can't, there's, there's nothing I need more to say than that. It's padded, it's good quality, it fits into the where uh, your screw joint is at the bottom of your camera. That's all I need to say on that. We'll chuck that there, done. Remote shutters, doing landscapes. You don't want your tripod to be moving, you don't want to be moving your camera and knocking it, especially if you're doing a long exposure. You need these, that's it, simple as that. You need them, no more. Memory cards, three eight gigabytes there. I do have a 32 gigabyte that's currently in my camera. You need more than one, you just need, you just do. More, more, more memory cards please. Everybody buy them. Spare battery speaks for itself really. There's nothing I really need to say about that. Make sure you go out and charge your batteries because I've done it a couple of times where I've gone out and I've left my battery at home. Disappointment. Next. A compass. You don't know when you're going to get lost. Especially it's even better if you get a sunset and sunrise compass. Because well, it speaks for itself really. It tells you where it's going to set. It's where it's going to rise. Genius if you're a, you know, a landscape photographer and you want that. And now, last of all. I discovered this the other day that I forgot I even had. That I'm probably going to start using all my vlogs with. My Lumix G2. Awesome little camera. I've had this a lot of years. Well, I say I've had it. My dad passed it down to me recently. About a year ago. Good quality build. Does what it needs to do. It's light. You don't need to... It seems to have stopped. That's not good. My memory card stopped filming right near the end, of course. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, good quality. I will be doing all my vlogging with that. I've got a 14 to 42 millimeter lens that I'll probably be using the most. But yeah, I can't wait to use these. There's a 45 to 200 millimeter. I can't wait to get out and start using this more. It should be interesting to use. But yeah, but yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I know I'm pretty new to this vlogging thing, so it's going to take a while to get used to, but hope you all enjoyed that. Hope it was uh, gave you a bit of good information that you could do, do with. I enjoyed it. It's something different that I'm doing now. I need something to do with my time. But yeah, hope you all enjoy. I'll be going out mat lot, like I said, hopefully this week. Maybe at the weekend. Who knows yet? I don't know. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe and everything. I hope you all have a good day. Thank you very much.